this is my version of Marian Anderson. All of these artists are uh, singers, musicians from the 20s and 30s primarily that uh, I consider sort of the grandparents of the civil rights movement. They're um, people who are my personal heroes, people that I are on my internal iPod that I grew up listening to. And uh, it, the way it came about was um, back in the 90s, I was feeling very sorry for myself. Um, the city had sued me. Um, because of Athena. When you down in out, mm, not one penny, and my friends I have on any. I went home that night and I happened to see on PBS a documentary about the life of Paul Robeson, which woke me up. <laughs> uh, I mean, the suffering that I was going through didn't compare at all, of course, with what Robeson went through his whole life long. And Robeson singing Old Man River was something that was deep in my heart from a child that I remembered. And um, I began thinking about him and his life and wanting to do something to memorialize Robeson. And then I remembered uh, in my studies of art I basically traveled around Europe going to museums. Whenever I see a beautiful Greek or Roman statue, I would think, wow, wouldn't that be great if, that, if those were real people and not gods and goddesses? And so um, when I had this idea to do Robeson, I thought, well, he should be like the Emperor Constantine. Coloss it should be a colossal head and it's a real person, not, not some emperor. The idea was not to create an exact realistic likeness. The idea for me, and it's the same idea with all the work that I do, is to try to create a living presence in the material. The material is clay, and I manipulate the clay in such a way that I exaggerate the outward swelling of the forms. The Greek word is entesis usually used to describe the swelling of the columns of the Parthenon. But the same is true for, uh, in sculpture for um, every aspect of the technique of creating sculpture. You're trying to create enthesis. Enthesis means the spirit within the object. And so it's part of the whole process of trying to animate matter. The idea is that this is also why they're larger than life. When you walk by them or you're in a room with them, you feel the presence of the person. My girl, my girl, don't lie to me. Tell me where did you sleep last night? Come on. That's what I'm trying to do to enliven the sculpture. If you look at these faces, they're all in the act of performing. When a, an artist reaches the mastery of their craft, it's like they're, they're channeling the energy through their body, and that's ecstasy. Um, so that's, that's why they're all, they all have their mouths open. They're, especially with uh, Marian Anderson, it's, I'm, I'm trying to capture that moment uh, where she's completely lost in the creation of her art. I feel that they're the, the grandparents of the civil rights movement. And I think it's wonderful that they were artists. This land is your land, and this land is my land, and the California. Later you had your religious leaders and politicians who got on board, but it was the, the artists who were really led the way. This land was made for you and me. This act, the ecstatic act, which is in all art creation, is an act of pure love. When I create something, I may, I, if I am lucky, I get lost in the creation of it. 
and oftentimes I'll wake up and I'll look at what I've done and I'll think, wow, where did that come from? Um, and that experience is the experience I think all artists and, and many other people too, most people, once they have that experience, they want to have it again and again. And it's, a, it's an act of pure love because it's selfless. You lose yourself in the act of creating something and then you have the result. For me, I have an object later, which I can contemplate and, and think, you know, manipulate. For the musical performer, it's immediate. Before recorded music, it was a one-time deal. Every time they performed, it was over. And it was a direct transfer of this selfless emotion. And that, to me, is the fascination beyond the people and what they did in their lives, but as, uh, as sculpture and as a, an, a creative act. That's what I'm trying to do. So thank you all for being here.